guys, what's up? It's Roth and I am here with Dave and Brian who are the producers of the Jarvis app, which is tied into the Iron Man 3 Blu-ray release, but you can get the app starting on the 10th next Tuesday. And what does it do for me? How does uh, this help my life? All right, so what we really wanted to do is we wanted to create a utility that you can use in your everyday life. And the idea was, could we get Jarvis to be in your iPad and on your iPhone and basically take over? Essentially pull as much of what Tony Stark can build in a movie into the real world. And what was this sort of based on? What was the inspiration? Uh, the, the inspiration was that, trying to pull as much Jarvis as we can uh, into the real world, but also the scene from Iron Man 1 when we see Christine Everhart wake up in Tony's house. She's alone. Jarvis comes on out of nowhere. It's 8 a.m. The weather in Malibu is 83 degrees. The surf is fair, so on and so forth. We pan out. We see Tony's amazing house. There's, There's Jarvis, Jarvis right, right there now. going off of my phone. What's he telling me, you? He's telling me that you have an email. I have an email. <laughs> Um, but that's sort of the inspiration for it, is sort of trying to bring that experience as much as possible to everybody's everyday life, you know. Getting you organized, right? Getting you organized. That's exactly. the idea. And this is actually Paul Bettany's voice. This he is. This it. is the real Paul Bettany, uh, okay. you know, that we use for the films and is the Jarvis uh, voice on all of the Iron Man So, in fact, we'll just show you a little bit about what Jarvis can do and what he says to you. I'm going to set, it says 11.15 right now, so I'm going to set a clock for 11.16 just to give us, you know, a little minute. Thank you. The alarm is set. The alarm is set. We got about 40 seconds before we get there. Why don't we just show a couple of other quick features yep. while we wait for that alarm to go off? If I go into here and I hit the tones section, you have at start nine tones that you can send to yourself. And so when we say the... tones, we really mean Paul Bettany voiceover. Okay. So. What are some of the things he can say? Here's one. Incoming call. I put it on. So screen. like my phone just went off. I got an email. On your iOS device, you have nine settings for voicemail, ringtone, text cool. message, yeah. meeting alerts. Incoming email. There's a custom one for each one, and there's Incoming more. We're going to give people, these are the first nine. There's a lot more coming. We recorded over 200 That's lines with Paul. There's a message center that we'll use to send you more alerts, more tones, more lines, more Jarvis goodness. What were some of the, did you have limitations in terms of the script? Did you have to kind of keep it really to the tone of who Jarvis is? Could you get a little cheeky? Does he get a little cheeky? He does get a little cheeky. One of the fun things is, is that the filmmakers are really involved in this and, and because it's the voice of the film franchise, you know, the, the script for what Paul said is, I mean, it's right on tone for the film. So if you're a fan of Iron Man and you're a fan of Paul and you're a fan of Jarvis. And he's does he, up. when he gets really angry, turn into Ultron? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Well, uh, he does get angry, though. You want to see get Jarvis angry. get angry? I really do. All right, so if we go to the home screen. There's Jarvis right there. And again, because he's Jarvis, you can just interact with him. Ma'am, it is Thursday. And he's telling you stuff. And... I see you require your daily affirmation. I do. Some inspiration. <laughs> Wait. Simply for one's own amusement. He's getting really, a little <laughs> upset already, so let's just keep is going. There anything I can help you with? This game is growing old. He's getting mad. I'm one of the most powerful computing systems. I'm very busy. And now he's turning if red. If you continue to persist with this line of action, I'll have no choice but to activate my security protocol sequence. What happens then? Try it. Activating security protocol self-destruct sequence, erasing all data from this device. Which is a lie. It's Jarvis. <laughs> You're lying, Jarvis. I don't he's know. not. He is erasing all data. <laughs> don't piss off Jarvis, man. So does it really shut down your device? Just kidding. Oh, thank you. He's a little, little cheeky Jarvis. Right. That so is cheeky some cheeky Jarvis. There. That was really convincing, though. Convincingly done. I would like to know if he actually does have daily affirmations available. He does. He does. So he when you wake up in the morning so. and at certain different times of the day, he'll it's totally random. He'll say, you know, like today it's going to be 97 degrees or whatever. He'll let you know that since the skies are clear, maybe you should attempt a height challenge on the fixed wing flight with the Iron Man armor. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have my Iron Man armor, so I can't do it. Does he do a little like, you're good enough? People like you. Um, <laughs> you know what? It's probably I, I, written more in Jarvis speak, would yeah, you say? Yeah. yeah, it's a little more Jarvis speak, but yeah. uh, but he will let you know. Um, you know, if it's late at night, he'll, he'll you know the alarm will go off. He'll say, "I see we're burning the midnight oil. Don't work too hard, sir." Yes. Oh. You know, so or ma'am. Or, or ma'am. Ma you can because exactly. I saw when you first set it up, you say where you are. You say if you're a male or a female. Exactly. Can, how programmable is this in terms of can it? know my name or or is it just the presets? No, yeah, it's just the presets for Sarah okay. Man. Unfortunately, if we wanted to do all the names and we had to localize it for all the countries, it would have been quite a process. Yes. But And we would have had Paul Bettany, you know, literally in a video booth till right now. Yeah, um, and forever. Yeah. Plus the <laughs> other side of it is we wanted to make sure that we made Jarvis uh, work in two ways. So not yeah. only does Jarvis talk to you, you can talk to Jarvis. Okay. So you want to see a little bit of that? Yes, yeah, yeah, so I do. Well, well, one thing real quick, way. yeah, show, show the voicemail, or the, uh, sorry, voicemail, but the uh, voice control on the Blu-ray. But also, we'll go back to the one for one second. Show 
show you this. So you set the alarm, you know, every day, he'll go off, so on and so forth. Let's say the first thing you do in the morning when you wake up is you want to post to Facebook about what you're going to be doing today. You're going to be coming over here, you're going to be looking at the Jarvis. The alarm goes off, you turn it off, and then you say... Jarvis, Facebook. Initiated. Now, if you had a Facebook account synced up with your app, which you can do when you first initialize it, he'll bring up your Facebook page, you can post. I'm going to be checking out the Jarvis app today. Stay tuned for more. Post. Off you go. Okay, so theoretically, he could just be with me all day, wake me up in the morning, yell at me when the fifth time I hit snooze, yep. tell me I have an appointment at 10 a.m., tell me I'm getting a phone message, yep. things like that. Telling you that you have a calendar event, telling you got a text message, et cetera. And then just a little bit of inspiration here and there to here keep me there, up. Here and there, keep you motivated, exactly. <laughs> so going back to the voice controls and what it can do, uh, we have the Iron Man 3 Blu-ray here, and this is one of the fun things. So the app comes out next Tuesday, but on the 24th when the Blu-ray hits the streets, you're going to get a whole separate experience that goes along with the Jarvis app. What we've got is remote control. So if you have your Jarvis app and you're on the couch hanging out, you've got your friends over, you can control the app just like, just like uh, or you control the Blu-ray just like Tony Stark would. But Tony Stark also talks to Jarvis. Mm -hmm. So what we've got here is the first ever voice-controlled Blu-ray. Okay. So you can just talk to Jarvis and say, uh, so if we bring up the, uh, the volume a little bit on the Blu-ray. Hold on for one second. Sorry, I already hit listening. So, so you're on your home page. I can say bonus features. You could say. Hold on, so we can do it. We can go. Jarvis bonus features. Accessing bonus features. And we can watch the Marvel one shot. Yeah, you can just say. Jarvis Agent Carter. But he needs to be instructed by name each time. He does. Jarvis, <laughs> do this, Jarvis, do that. But it's see, see what you say, or say what you see. Okay. So if you want to say bonus features, you want to do setup, you want to do whatever. Just say it and he'll do it. Now, one of the coolest things is in the middle of this, you're watching Agent Carter. You can switch to another piece. You can you can jump to another piece of content, or you could say, Jarvis, set up. Set up. And the Jarvis on the disc will jump to the or on the Blu-ray disc it'll jump to set up. It'll jump to change you. Okay. Now, so this is a whole separate what thing. Is this, we'll, Dave? this is uh, this is a little sneak peek. We'll we'll get into it in a minute here, but um, but. Uh, as you can see, Jarvis will take you, you like, oh, you know what? I wanted to watch it in Spanish. Or with subtitles. On. Subtitles, et cetera, As so my forth. boyfriend does with every single movie. So you're, now <laughs> your Audio commentary, you can ask on the auto commentary from the piece, whole nine yards. Um, so as we just saw, Jarvis gave you a little, a little code right there. Um, so hidden throughout the Blu-ray, uh, in various sections, Easter eggs, there's 13 of these. AR codes. Okay. Uh, if you find one, so you watched Agent Carter. Yes. That's where the one is hidden. When you watch the you watch the piece, you get an AR code. Um, On with the, the upside, AR code, you go to the armors, and we've unlocked already several armors, but there's a bunch that are not unlocked. So this yet. is all 42 armors that Tony's ever built. Okay, and then now, once they're unlocked. Yep. So how this works is uh, if we jump back to the remote really quickly, and we'll just exit out of here. And we'll just go down to, there's a, there's a section here, which we skipped over a little bit uh, as we were doing the voice control. But if you go to this Jarvis icon, there's an intro from Paul Bettany, Jarvis. And he'll let you know how this works when you find one of those codes. So we could play that really quickly. You want to play it? Or? Let's play it. Let me turn a little bit over. Remote upload sequence initiated. Begin systems check. Online and ready. Because of damage to my systems in the mansion attack, I've relocated project roll call and all specifications along with my operating system to Stark Industry Central Database. The data has been encrypted and will need to be key card identified for access. To unlock individual files, you will need to locate and scan the corresponding ghost file key card. I'm going to the intros or the instructions. I've detected a ghost file hidden on this disk. Uploading it now. Now that's the code that we found. It appears to be an encrypted image. In order to access the file on the Stark Industries Central Database, you'll need to scan it for me to run a decryption protocol. If you need any assistance, the operating instructions are located below. All right, so we've um, already scanned this image, but if we just found this, what you do is you just go back to the armor, so you hit scan, which loads our AR scanner, and just hold it up, and boom, and it would scan, and it would then unlock the armor. So now when you unlock the armors, so this one, this one is the f the free one. This is the one that Jarvis tells you about. Okay, right. this is to, the freebie. to explain the sort of the sort of system, he gives you the classics, which is the first. 
seven armors that Tony built, which we saw were destroyed in the Iron Man 3 Mansion I know, attack. he got exactly. a little angry. Exactly. So he's hidden all of the secret files on the Stark Industries Central Database. Once you find all 13, we're at 40% right now, so we're okay. almost halfway. You get, to, you get to the end, you get to 100%. Jarvis will alert you. He's got something else in store for you. A little sneak peek. A sort sneak peek of, of what? We'll leave it at that and uh, sort of <laughs> let, you, let, let the fans find You have find to find it. all the files, all and, scan files and, uh, and scan them. and scan them and you see, the and you see what you get. I don't know. Could it be Avengers? Could it be the sneak peek that they showed at D23? There's a lot of stuff in the hopper, so. I don't know. I think yeah. you got to find out. got to find out for myself. Out. Well, now yeah. I'm determined to find out for myself. Are there some bonus, like, in, in feature, bonus features that Jarvis interacts with at all? You know, kind of like storyboards in feature, anything like that? Not in feature, but Jarvis, um, as we showed you, controls the entire Blu ray disc. So you okay. can access anything you want through Jarvis. Okay, yep. great. Well, yep. thank you guys so much again. No this problem. is out on the 10th, and he can yep. start controlling my life, which needs some control. And then on the 24th, I can start controlling the Blu-ray with Jarvis. I sure can. That's right. Okay. Thanks, cool. guys. Right. Thanks.